What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and welcome to my third video on 2021 Best Air Fryers. Now, just to recap, the first video I did was on air fryer baskets. Second video was on air fryer toaster ovens. And this third video series will be the best air fryer ovens. Not the ovens that look like a toaster oven, just air fryer ovens. And you'll see just in a second. And this will conclude my series of the best air fryers in 2021. So through, um, if you look at all three of these videos, you definitely should be able to find the best air fryer for this year. Absolutely. So let's just jump right into it. First on my list, the Power XL air fryer oven. But this one right here is the QVC version. What I just showed you was the Walmart version. It doesn't have the buttons, the raised buttons. And this is why I got the Walmart version, just for the thumbnail, because this is what's going to happen to yours, whether you have the Walmart or QVC version. That's going to kind of wear off the PowerXL writing. That's, it, it happens to either one. But I just didn't feel right um, in the thumbnail having a worn off PowerXL in the picture. <laughs> and I know some of you are going to make a big deal about that, but really, for this particular machine, I would, I would look past that. Because the amount of value that you're going to get with this oven for the price is phenomenal. At least the QVC uh, version. The Walmart version is good too, but you're getting extra value with the QVC version. So I would suggest, if you can, get this from QVC. So anywho. Now first thing we want to look at with this machine, which is just awesome. I cooked on this um, on camera over... 25 times but I've cooked on it over 30 times and we're going to take a look of the inside and see you know how clean or not clean it is because I think this speaks volumes just take a look 30 times maybe even 40 and all I really used was a wet paper towel that's impressive, guys. Oh, let me get up there, too. Over 30 times. Another great feature, the door detaches. Boom. With my QVC version, as well as the Walmart version, you get three of these racks, which is great. You get three, not one. A lot of air fryers give you one. You're getting three. You also get this drip pan, which is nice. And that's the new Walmart one, but I still want to show you mine after 30 cooks. And I don't use no foil or any of that stuff. I clean it 30 minutes after, or an hour after, or maybe a day after. And you, you see how it kept up. Over 30 cooks, y'all. Now, exclusive to QVC and QVC alone. QVC alone. And it's not sold separately. It only comes with the machine. You get this egg slash muffin pan. Now, I see a lot of people, you know, they ask me where I got it. It only comes with the QVC machine. You can buy it separately. I just said that, but I just felt to say it again. But you, you can use, there's other things that you can use as well. For instance, you can buy something like this and, you know, you put it on a rack. Put it on a rack and then it'll be fine. I mean, you know, there's workarounds. But the one from QVC is nice because you don't need a rack to lay it on. It goes in there just perfectly. You just put it in just like that. So, that's nice. Also, guys, this does rotisserie. And you would hook it up right there. Hook the spit up right there. Here and there. The Walmart version has raised buttons, but the QVC version is all digital. So, it's just push and you're good. This is what it sounds when it's on. It's not very loud, guys. I'm bumping up to 400. That's as high as it goes, by the way. Alright, guys. Let's go over the presets really quick. 
Um, what do we got here? We got French fry, roast, baking, fish, reheat, shrimp, chicken, rotisserie, pizza, dehydrate, muffin, and bagel. It says it. This is eggs on uh, the manual and also on QVC, but that's really a bagel because I think it's three minutes. You can't cook eggs in the air fryer for three minutes. There's no way, no type of egg. So, but a toast bagel, you definitely can. But that's neither here or there. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Some of you might not have known they have this machine. But yeah, um, those are the presets you get. That's pretty cool. And the racks and all of the... Tr uh, the the egg uh, muffin tray and this are all dishwasher safe by the way got a see-through window right here so that's cool and for you guys I'll leave my power excel oven playlist um, that's over 25 videos that I did this year on this um, oven so easy about over 25 easy recipes that you can choose from so definitely check that out. So this is number one on my list on um, air fryer ovens because of the price. I don't know if I mentioned it before. QVC has it for, it's actually under 115 at the moment. And it is on FlexPay. So that's a plus. You can't get FlexPay at Walmart. You get you can get on FlexPay. You get the additional um, egg and muffin tray. And um, you I, I didn't see any rotisserie in the Walmart. It might have came in there, but I didn't see it. So you get all these things with the QVC version at a great price, under 120. You can't beat it. Easy to clean. I've cooked on it over 30 times, and it's fine. So number one, absolutely on my list. And guys, I meant number one as far as air fryer ovens, not air fryer toaster ovens or not air fryer basket, just air fryer ovens. This is definitely, you get the most bang for your buck, stylish, everything. All right. And if I forgot to mention, this is 1700 watts, so the power is definitely there. Next up. So guys, this is Kasori's 26 quart, 1800 watt air fryer smart oven. This is very stylish. Um, I got this at Amazon. It's $149 at the moment. Um, but you know how Kasori does on the holidays and different times. They have different sales. But even at $149, you are getting a lot of value for this machine. What I like, what jumps out to me first is that this part right here. It's just clean. We get to see what we're doing. We're not looking at any, low, um, any symbols or whatever you call those things. We see it in plain writing. Preheat, air fryer, bake, toast, roast, broil. Keep warm, dehydrate pizza, slow cook, defrost, and ferment. So it also has some features that other air fryer ovens don't have. Like I don't see ferment on many other ones. Don't see slow cook on um, a lot of them. What else here? Um, I like that it has a preheat. That's cool. So, yeah. You do get this dial that makes it easy to go to... Um, you know your selected function and then you just push it in when you're ready to do it and on the other side you got your on and off you have your time and temp you have your start you have the you have a uh, dedicated preheat button when you press it it just goes to preheat automatically which is cool then you have your air fryer fan which automatically comes on when you air fry and dehydrate but if you want to to add the fan to a broil or to a defrost or to a slow cook you certainly can by just hitting that button and then you'll see the fan right there see you can take it on and off and then that button doubles as a light hold it down the light comes on like so also you have a shake button which is cool right let me uh Put it on something here. Let's put it on air fryer, for instance. And then I hit the shake button. Now, what the shake button does was alert you halfway into your cook. So if you're cooking something, let's say for 12 minutes, if you have the shake, if you press the shake button at six minutes, it'll start beeping for you to do whatever you need to do to whatever you're cooking. Either shake it or uh, rotate it, whatever have you. 
So I think that's a cool feature. And that's something unique to any other air fryer that I've seen. Let's look inside, guys. I cooked on this about three times, so I haven't cooked on it that much. But I'm liking it. So let's see what it comes with. So obviously you have your crumb tray. And what I like about this, the crumb tray came already installed. I don't know why other ovens don't do that. You definitely have to have your, your crumb tray, right? You don't need to necessarily use a rack or a particular tray, but you definitely need a crumb tray every cook. And of course, it's not rocket science to put in your, your crumb tray, but it might be something that you forget. You know, you might be so excited, you might forget to do that. I don't know. So anyway, it comes with this pan, which is cool. I like that. And these fit in perfectly with the machine. Of course, you get the wired rack. Nice. Let's move that right in there. And this, this air fry oven only has three levels, so. And finally, you get an air fryer basket, which is pretty cool. You know what, guys? We got a little spot here. Let's see how easy that is to clean out. That would be from the other day. Oh, just came right out. That, would, that probably was crumbs. Okay. Easy peasy. All right, let's get that in there. This does not have rotisserie, guys, so... That's important to you. It does not have that. I think that feature is cute, but I think it also is overrated. I find that, you know, I have an air fryer group of over 65,000 people, members, and, you know, people will be excited to do rotisserie a couple of times and then you don't see them do it again. So that's why I say it's overrated. And that's the case with me, too. I just would rather, for what it is, I'd rather just go to Walmart and pay my five, six bucks. I, I got to be honest. But I will say, if seasoned right, there's nothing like a homemade rotisserie chicken. It is just super duper flavor. How exactly how you want it. How salty you want it, how not salty you want it. So there is advantage there. But anywho. And at this part, this is where we pull away from about 98% of the air fry ovens that are even available for your eyes to even see. In fact, let me go ahead and just turn this off. So, turn on Doug's air fryer. Okay. At what temperature? 450. Preheating Doug's air fryer to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Did I tell you that this machine goes to 450, by the way? <laughs> it can air fry at 450 as well. Turn off Doug's air fryer. Okay. We also can go into the app and click on the air fryer. Now we have all these recipes that we can see how to prepare and the time and temps will be zapped automatically to the um, to the air fryer. So let's take uh, crispy curry chicken tenders. That sounds interesting. So look, it's telling me that I can do it manually. I don't have to rely on this to do it, but I could just look at this app just from having this machine and look. It's going to tell me how to make it. What ingredients to use. See? Isn't that cool, guys? And then when I hit cook dish, and then cook now. In fact, one of my next videos, I'm going to go ahead and try this. That, that, that sounds good. So now, it's just waiting for me to hit start. Time and temp is zapped to my machine. So I hit start right and now look at my phone it's 
it's preheating. Can I skip it? Yes, skip. Boom. Skipped it. Right from my phone. Come on, man. Stop cooking. That's to me, am I sure? Let's just hit stop. Boom. I'll leave a link in the description, guys, but 149. That's 149. I mean, I don't have to say anything more. All right, guys. Last but not least, and we're going completely left with this one. This is my Ninja Foodi 5 quart. It's 11 in 1. I got this on QVC as well. They have a lot of colors right now on QVC. But you can get this on Amazon as well. And other Kohl's and other stores as well. Um, but what I like is this. This is the 5 quart. This is the mini. Now they have a 6 and an 8 quart. Which is taller and heavier. Um, but this. I think this is what? 24 pounds? And this is perfect. Now this is a little different. But... You know, we're all in the same price range. So first of all, we can bake and roast. So this is an oven. We can slow cook on high and low, right? But we can pressure cook. We can sous vide. We can air fry. We can steam. We can do yogurt. We can broil. We can sear and saute and we can dehydrate. Come on now. Right now it's going for one, I've seen it on Amazon for like 147, 150 something, but QVC has it um, at, at 170 right now in different colors. So Amazon only sells one color, QVC has all sorts of colors, so definitely check that out. But this is also a good bang for your buck. Look at all the things that you can do. Let's look inside real quick. So the inner pot is ceramic, which is cool does come with this rack also comes with this as well but what's unique about this machine for me well not too unique anymore because a lot of companies copied but you can pressure cook and then you can air fry right after so in other words let's say I have some baby back ribs I pressure cook them I don't know for 20 minutes and let it naturally release for another 20 minutes. So let's say 40 minutes. And then I can air fry them, crisp them up, fall off the bone with that char all in one machine without unplugging or plugging or ch changing to my oven or changing to my grill outside or whatever have you. All in one machine. So that's, that's pretty awesome. I can sear and saute. So when I put it in uh, sear and saute mode, that's like stove top. I can put an egg in there. I can fry an egg in there. I can make a pancake in there. It probably wouldn't be the ideal thing to do, but I can do that. But also, like if I want to make gravies and soups and all sorts of stuff, I have the ability to just use this as a stovetop. And an accessory that you can buy from Amazon is this Ninja branded glass lid. But you may have a lid that fits... Um, in your you know in your cabinet or whatever have you in your kitchen but how cool is this now we put the lid on we can slow cook now this looks like a crock pot almost right we can slow cook we can um, we can keep things warm and we can serve right out of here so, you know your company can take off the lid you get you a, a, a serving utensil and boom so the possibilities are endless with this so I know it's not like your traditional air fry oven, but this does air fry, it does pressure cook, and so many other things. Now also I forgot to mention, there is a separate lid for pressure cooking, and you just, you just put it on the top and then that's easy. The air fryer lid is attached always, and it's like in this position like that. And so when we want to air fry, we just close it down like that. And so let's turn on air fry so you can hear it. Real simple. Air crisp. Let's go up to 400. Let's turn it on. Start.
So yeah, that's how it sounds, guys. Link will be in the description. Definitely check this out. And by the way, you get a recipe book with all of these air fryers, so you're good to go out of the box on how to cook many things. So, and of, of course, you have my videos as well. So, I mean, that's weeks and weeks of cooks. <laughs> well, that about does it, guys. So, between my first video and to the second to the third, that's nine air fryers that I'm giving you to choose from that are the best for 2021 so and I broke it to why it's nine is because I broke it down into different styles and types of air fryers because you know I I'm going off of how I feel about air frying there's certain type there's a certain type of look that I want in an air fryer and there's certain functions that I want it to do in the air fryer so I think those are definitely important and some and price is important as well so I have um, not in this round, but other rounds, I have a high price point and a low price point. That's also important too. With this round, we're all at around 150, so that's that's fantastic. So yeah, so definitely check out all three videos if you haven't. I'll link them in the in, in the um, I'll pin them into the comments actually, so you can see them um, if you haven't, because I think it's important for you to get the whole picture couple off the air comments I would like to make so to answer a lot of people's questions because well before I answer the, the, the general question that everyone asked me what's the best air fryer I don't believe that that's a I, I love gadgets so I, I don't think that's a I can't give you a definitive answer but I'm gonna try to today but I want to give you all the flavors first but for me for air frying, just air frying now, I would say any 1700 watt square basket air fryer, I don't care what brand it is, in my, in my case it would be a Kasori because that's my square basket, would be the best in air frying. It will be the more efficient. Now it can't hold as much as the oven, but then again some of the ovens, like for instance in my Power XL, yeah, I did two trays of fried chicken, but it almost took 40 minutes. So it's double the time because it's double the, the, the food and space, but it's, it's double the time. That may not matter to some people, and that's fine. That's fine. But I just think as far as cleaning and just dealing with and space and everything, I think a square basket 1700 watt to me would be my best choice for you guys. But it's not up to me. I stop worrying about what you guys want to buy. I just want to present what I think you might want to buy. And I'll just buy what I want to buy. <laughs> like for instance, my June oven, I feel like my June oven is better than whatever oven you have. I don't care what you have. My June oven is better than your oven. But that's okay. I don't do videos on it. It's $600. Some of you don't want to do spend that type of money. Although, in the future you will because let's say the, the, the oven you have now is going to get dirty and nasty in two, three years and you're going to throw it away because of that and you're going to buy another two, three hundred dollar uh, 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 oven. And there you go. You're almost at, you're at or almost at six hundred dollars. In my opinion. Where I can clean mine with easy off to perfection. So that's just me. But, Again, I would rather just show you the best, the, uh, the best of the best, and you decide. This was fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Before I leave, got to shout out my air fryer group. It's called Air Frying with Doug. Again, it's over 65,000 members in there. We'd love to see what type of air fryer you like to cook on. Come in there and show, off, show us what you like to make in your air fryer. We'd love to see it. Or go on there and do a search and get recipes. We've been around since 2016. I'm sure we made what you're trying to look for. All right. But that's it. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. Let's cook them with Doug. And we out.